Hansen here, and welcome to a very special episode of the Joel Hansen Show, where, you know, we eat excellent food at excellent restaurants, and maybe sometimes a little way too much. So, here in front of me today, I have such a delicious looking spread of food, and today we're here at none other than Breakfast House Chicago. This is one of their four locations, they were the Wrigley location, really close to the Cubs Stadium. So, basically what do I have here again, I'm going to grab our uh, server to walk us through everything that looks so delicious, like chicken and waffles, fried chicken sandwiches, our chilaquiles, I got a delicious uh, dolce de leche French toast. This looks so awesome. I'm so excited to, to try all this food. Like I said, definitely one of the best breakfast spots here in Chicago. And uh, let's get eating. All right, so here we are with Diego. Diego, walk me through what we have in front of us here today. All right, for, to start with, you have our uh, dulce de leche French toast. Dolce de leche French toast. So this is like caramel, I see berries. Looks fantastic. It's our oven baked French toast. Uh, like exactly how you said it. Nice. Uh, we have our chilaquiles. It's uh, scrambled eggs with our homemade tortilla chips, with our guajillo sauce, supreme chorizo, mozzarella cheese, American cheese, and sour cream and guacamole. It smells very, very good. We have a breakfast burrito. Yep. It what has uh, scrambled eggs, uh, avocado, uh, bacon. And uh, mix with the guajillo sauce inside. Okay, so all the good stuff. Yeah. A little bit of fruit as well, keeping it healthy. Oh, yeah. It also has pepper jack cheese. Okay. And it's our cream and waffle roll. Nice. Now, what is this? This is like, it looks like a mix of an eggs benedict and a salad or BLT? Yeah, okay. that's our BLT benedict with uh, a flower bit of uh, spinach. Nice. With bacon, avocado, and our poached eggs with our chipotle sauce and mixed green on top. Nice, so chipotle sauce, poached eggs, definitely again, we're, I think we got some health in this, I'm really excited. Here we have, I think this, this is sandwich named after you? Yeah. So we got one of the Diego fried chicken sandwich? Yeah. <laughs> so what's, tell me about this one. So that's our chesom recipe buttermilk uh, fried chicken. Okay. With uh, our jalapeno sauce, with pickles, mixed green, and a fried egg. Ooh. That's delicious! Yeah. Alright, cool. Here we got chicken and waffles. This is a classic, but what, what, what do we got to know about chicken and waffles? Also, chicken and waffles is our, our vanilla, vanilla flour recipe. Vanilla flour, okay. Yeah, it uh, has a fried chicken as well. It's our own recipe, like a Diego sandwich Beautiful. with uh, honey mustard. Honey mustard, okay, that's interesting. And then last but not least, I heard this is your favorite dish, is that oh, correct? Yeah, our favorite and most loved here. So what is this? That's our so cream chorizo hash. It has uh, hot potatoes, red peppers, corn, supreme chorizo with onion, all sauteed together with uh, two eggs over easy, chipotle sauce, and guacamole. And you actually have a big like thing on the wall right there, which is saying this is the best like chorizo hash. Yep. So I'm so excited, guys. This is awesome. You can definitely tell there's you know uh, some little bit of uh, let's say some Mexican inspiration in here, and I freaking love that. I'm so excited. So uh, thanks so much, Diego. Really appreciate it, brother. Yeah, and uh, hey, I'm, I'm looking forward to eating this. Enjoy. So like I said, we got so many items and options in front of us. Um, I don't really know where to start, but we got a fork and a knife, and uh, let's just dive in. Maybe I'll try, try a little bit of, you know, this fresh fruit. I love fruit, guys. I'm a big, big, big pineapple fan, strawberry fan, they have them all. You know, in all reality, maybe I'll start with like some of this, I'll start with this chicken sandwich. Yeah, why don't we start with the chicken sandwich? We'll kind of start with uh, the more brunch aspect, and we'll move into breakfast, but this looks absolutely delicious. Jalapeno sauce, pickles, a little bit of everything. I'm just gonna rearrange here. Got my chilaquiles, which we'll definitely have momentarily. Yeah, let's try this thing out. This looks fantastic. And uh, like I said, just let it Look at it. All right, well, let's give her a try. That is crunchy, that is savory. Mm. Ooh! You got a fried egg on there. I see some red yolks. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah, that is very, very good. The jalapeno sauce does have a little bit of a kick. Not too much. But I really get that like Mexican inspiration actually coming through this sandwich, which is freaking awesome. Mm. Very, 
there we go. fantastic um i think i'm gonna dive straight into from here probably like let's do the let's do the chilaquiles love chilaquiles again it's been a long time since i had anything like this specifically mexico so again we got their uh guajillo sauce chorizo we got some nice refried beans at the bottom here looks like oh okay yeah they got that going on. That is just like, it is sweet, it is savory. I love like just eggs and tortilla chips. Like who would have known it's such a good combination? Mm. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. The richness even that little bit like sour cream, you got the cheese in there, the guacamole. Mm. Mm. Oh yeah. That bite, woo! And just tastes so fresh, so fresh. I'm definitely a fan. This is a win. Mix it all up. Getting every flavor and every bite of that. Love it. Also, I take cheat day. This is great. And I love breakfast foods, I love brunch foods. So I'm so mm -hmm. glad to actually be able to dive into this, try all these things. And like I said, when you got a reputation for like Chicago's best breakfast, four locations, you know they're doing something right. From here, let's, uh, I have a blueberry. Like I said, I love fruit, big fan of fruit. Let's try this, uh, maybe this Benedict. Thank you, sir. Got my unsweet tea. I get the unsweet tea, I throw in Splenda. God bless America for having all this lovely sweet tea. Sweet tea is not really a thing in a lot of the, the world. Or, you know, if it is like a sweet tea, an iced tea, sometimes it's not made with like a real brewed tea. Or here it is. I'm a big fan. And that is delicious. Amen. All right. What do we got going here? So let's try this BLT Benedict. I think this is you can use your hands. But English muffin. Ooh, lovely little cherry tomatoes. A lovely looking sauce on there as well. Some spinach. So I am, uh, I'm down. Let me, uh, let me try this. I think this could be a pretty interesting bite, so. Oh, I actually, I actually got the whole yolk in my mouth from that bite. So I'm no run. Oh yeah, bacon as well. I think I can one bite this, let's try it. Too delicious. 
I love a runny egg. Hashtag lovely eggs Benedict. Yeah, this is really cool. I love like uh, uh, eggs Benedict, and this is an unconventional eggs Benedict, but it's just fire. <coughs> Very good. Mm. Avocado on there as well. Mm. Those little tomatoes, the kind of spins, the greens they have going on there. Really nice and like fresh. Satiating, but. Actually, those are really nicely seasoned. Got some of that, like the sauce from the Benedict on that. Mmm. Woo! I was expecting them, but these are really good. I wouldn't say, like, generally a house potato is something I would really like, hash brown is something I really like compliment, but they got it going on. That is awesome. Yeah, that's straight fire. Next we have, of course, we have the grilled chicken waffles, breakfast burrito, the dolce de leche french toast. I think this being so desserty, I better save this for last. But we also have the house favorite, which is the chorizo hash. Let's try it. I like it. House favorite. We got some eggs on here as well, a little bit of guacamole. Oh. Mm. You got the peppers on there, the onions. Yeah. Got a nice runny yolk as well. Oh yeah. I'm just gonna mix. I need to get a bite with everything. I think a bite with everything is gonna be the way to. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my gosh. You see, got the egg running around, just mixed in with everything. Woo! The chorizo, the peppers, the guac. That is fantastic. This is my first time having anything like this with chorizo hash, but I would recommend this 100%. This is bomb. Bomb diggity. I can see why this is like a restaurant favorite. If I'm not mistaken, I believe this is the, the owner's, the restaurant owner's favorite dish as well. I approve. I, I never thought like the chorizo, the hash browns, the heel sauce, and the egg yolk. It had so much like umami, just that mouthfeel. I would recommend. All right, very delicious. Now we're down to chicken waffles, got a burrito, and of course our dessert French toast. I love sweet tea. Too good. Too, too, too good. Um, you know, let's change it up. I have just kind of that, uh, the chorizo hash. I see the burrito, it looks like it has a similar sauce on it. Let's try this chicken and waffles. Again, they said we've got to get a bit of a honey mustard here. I also do my sugar-free syrup. But of course, we have some legit, real, pure organic Chicago maple syrup. Hashtag the North. Yes, real maple syrup. I do love maple syrup. I will try a bite with real maple syrup. But, you know, guys, I do try to save my calories, so you can tell I'm really watching my calories today. So let's be a little, uh, a little mindful of that. But. You gotta have a good old, oh, that chicken just looks and sounds really crispy. Let's see if we get some. That's some crispy action. All right, let's try the bite. And a vanilla waffle, which smells very delicious and sweet. That maple syrup, that vanilla, and that bite of chicken. Oh yeah, I like that.
the kind of buttermilk fried chicken, just offering a really good base of like to accent and take all the flavors. I'll try this uh, this mustard sauce they got. Oh wow! So I'm really getting actually almost like a bit of a vinegar acidity in that, which I think would go really really well with kind of like to counteract some of the richness of the fried chicken. So let's let's give that a let's test my hypothesis. Mustard sauce, screaming baby in the background, and fried chicken. All delicious. Mmm. Ooh. I'm also kind of like a Dijon mustard out of that. That's delicious. I think you can see just how juicy that chicken is as well. That is straight fire, actually. I'm really impressed. I wasn't sure what to think of this mustard sauce, but it's definitely, definitely fever. Try some of my sugar-free syrup with a little bit of bite of that mustard sauce and that uh, chicken. All right, that combo. I'll try to get a little bit of maple syrup. We have that sweet syrup and the waffle, savory from the chicken, and a little bit of acidity from that mustard sauce. I like that. I would recommend that. That's a really nice pairing as well. Also, because yes, this is a thing. Waffles or pancakes? I am team waffle, hashtag team waffle. Comment down below, let me know. Pancakes or waffles? I'm waffles, ride or die. And this is a really good chicken and waffles as well. I'm a fan. I'll take it. I'll really take it. That sauce is really, really good. All right, so now we're down to breakfast burrito and the Dolce Leche French toast, which again looks very delicious, very, very delicious. Uh, I'll probably start with this breakfast burrito. Again, save that for last. I know we have an extra sauce here. Uh, Mr. Mr. Diego, what, what kind of sauce do we have here? It's our house sauce. House sauce? Yeah, it's more like a traditional. Sauce, sauce. Is it like spicy or what is it? Not, it's like mild. Ooh. Yeah. You know what it's like? Yeah, it's like a salsa. It's like a salsa. Okay, so like a house made salsa, house sauce. I'm down. What, what do we have in this burrito again? No, you, uh, we had some eggs, we had some uh, bacon, pepper jack cheese, avocado, and uh, guajillo sauce inside the burrito as well. Sounds very saucy. I like it. I do. And the fruit. Hashtag the fresh fruit. Which is very fresh. Alright, let me grab a knife. I don't know, is a burrito's a fork and knife thing? I think sometimes they are. This one, let's try this. This looks like a. I think we have to see the inside of this at least. Mmm, those sauces though taste so good. They literally just, oh yeah. Look at that. Just look at it. Avocado, bacon, eggs. Might get a little messy, but. Mmm. Ooh. That is very warm and very rich. I got some real strong cheese notes in there. It might make it a little saucy around your edges, but that's really good. The sauces are great. I'll try this with, uh, I'll try this piece with the uh, house sauce. The house salsa there. Whoa! Maybe a lot of bit of it, but nonetheless, I like flavor. Give that a little bite. Mm. 
again, just like, honestly, I see, I see what, uh, what he was saying there with, saying it's kind of just like more like authentic. It's very, very good. I like that a lot. It brings me back to Mexico. I love it. Really, really good. I think I just drink the sauce to be honest with you, but. Probably have sauce all over my face, but it's all part of it. No shame. When you're face first in a meal, you know it's good. And last but not least, here we have our French toast. Dolce de Leche French toast. So we have the caramel, the crajeta, across the top, we have berries. We got whipped cream. And this is an oven baked French toast, which I think like makes it like puff up a little bit more. But it looks very good. It's really holding its like shape, its consistency. Again, I think it's because they're oven baked. But just have a look at that. That just looks very, very nice. Well, only one way to do it. That caramel, that cinnamon, that is just fantastic. Mm. The sauce is open. It, it, it kind of forgot about the whipped cream, but. Mm. Oh, yeah. That drizzle they got going on there. It is so sweet, so creamy. The, uh, the, the, the berries is such a nice touch. You get a nice crunch, a nice crisp. Mm. Yes, yes. This is like, arguably, I would say maybe borderlining dessert and or like breakfast, but as it is French toast, I think it flies. It just, it just flies under the radar. You don't have to have this as dessert. You can have this for breakfast and people won't, uh, won't judge it for it. Just look at that, look at that bite. That is just beautiful. Yeah, that is just fantastic. Oh no! I just, I just made a mess. Now whipped cream on my shirt, it's on my pants. Oh. All part of a good meal. And that's why I wear black. If you wear black, I swear that's the way to do it. It helps a little bit. I'm still gonna walk around with stains all in the back. Mm. Again, absolutely delicious, absolutely fantastic, guys. But that, everybody, I can't say enough. I've had an absolutely excellent experience here. Breakfast, brunch. I mean, we started with brunch, we ended with breakfast, went the other way around, but you can always have a second breakfast. You know, second breakfast? Let me know down below if you know who that's from. But everybody, thanks so much for watching. Very enjoyable experience. Love the food. I think my favorites today, Honestly, I'm gonna go with probably the chilaquiles and the chorizo hash. Just straight out, like just 10 out of 10, absolutely fantastic. I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed this French toast as well. The chicken sandwich was fantastic. And what I love, I think, all through this, actually, like even like everything, breakfast burrito, the Benedict, I'm just like beautiful flavors, exceptional taste. The quality is there. You can tell there's a lot of passion, a lot of emphasis going into this food. And I have no complaints. This is a beautiful thing. Breakfast and brunch is a beautiful thing. So a huge thanks to Chicago. Thank you for having such amazing food. So everyone, thank you again for watching. Really appreciate it. Of course, till next time, say happy to the hug happy eating. And that's about it. Hope you have a lovely day, lovely life. Just. Good times, you know, good times are coming. The world's hopefully opening back up. People are here just living, loving, and that's it. It's a beautiful day outside. I'm gonna go try to see some more of Chicago. Gotta see the sights, my first time in Chicago. So thank you, Chicago.
Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for this lovely breakfast, and uh, that's about it, guys. So that, till next time, of course, to have the hungry, happy eating. About that, just very say goodbye. Have a lovely day. We are in downtown Chicago. Behind that bus is some of the big buildings and the big, I think it used to be called Sears Tower or whatever the Tower of the Big Points. I think it's right behind this thing. And now I'm getting honked at because I'm not paying attention. That's all right. Hi everyone, we are downtown. Well, in Old Town actually, Old Town Chicago. So pretty cool. I was just gonna kind of walk around for a little bit, but it's basically just like a, I don't know, the, I don't really know the history of the area. It's just a string of areas. There's like lots of shops all along here, that way as well. Lots of people out and about in this beautiful, beautiful uh, Saturday evening. So let's uh, go check everything out. So lots of bars, restaurants, little shops. Again, beautiful day after, you know, obviously a long winter and now pretty much ending all of the quote unquote lockdowns here and around Chicago, especially for those who are vaccinated. Um, it's crazy, just absolutely crazy. How many people are just out and about in full swing today? And we're like right downtown Chicago, like right in Old Town, like big buildings. And here this person actually has ducks in their yard. So I guess you can have ducks in the Chicago city limits. And uh, yeah, so that's pretty cool. A little call ducks and I don't know what kind of duck that is, but Indian, I don't know, whatever. But yeah, there you go. Ducks in downtown Chicago. A little bit more of Old Town. There's a taqueria. You can see just like how many people are there? Everywhere is just full. People are having fun. It is a Saturday night. It's crazy uh, just to be back, like to see everything back in what is, you know, if not full, like a becoming full swing. But yeah, pretty cool little area. Nice evening to walk around. There's like a park down this way too that we drove by. I don't exactly know what it is, but maybe we'll get down there. And here we accidentally made it to Lincoln Park. So here we have a big Abe Lincoln statue. As you can see, he is a little, uh, must have made of copper as he also turned green like the Statue of Liberty. Well, that's pretty cool. There's a big, a big Lincoln, Abraham Lincoln. And then behind it, it says, you know, Abraham Lincoln, see on the, uh, in the cement. That says MD something something. I guess that's probably the year. So, pretty cool. Lincoln Park. And Lincoln Park, the, the green space extends past this way. There's obviously a bit of green space all along here as well. It's just very beautiful, very stunning. Again, we're getting kind of that, uh, that sunset now, but uh, no complaints. No complaints. Lincoln Park in Chicago. And to give you an idea, so, uh, Chicago, downtown Chicago where Lincoln Park is. I think that's like, that's that famous tower that's on all the pictures with the two light beams at night. Um, I don't know what it's called, maybe the Sears Tower or something, or it used to be called that. Whatever it is, you know, the downtown, other down, well, this is all downtown, but more Chicago down there. Chicago, we have found, is just huge geographically. And uh, it's pretty. It is yeah, now it's the Willis Tower. Willis Tower? Yeah. Nice. So the Wills, Willis Tower. Yeah. Yeah, so the Willis Tower. There you go. That's the one with the two spikes. But uh, yeah, pretty cool down here. It's uh, definitely a beautiful day, like I said. It's crazy how it's normal it is right now. Like, that's super cool. But uh, yeah, big, big, big city, that's for sure. Again, not only just density, but uh, geographically, a lot bigger than I anticipated geographically. Density, it makes sense. Like I knew it's, you know, obviously one of the biggest cities in America. Uh, I living just outside Toronto, I'm quite familiar, you know, with kind of a big city, um, but I was definitely not expecting or not as familiar with the, uh, the size of it. So heading a little bit more kind of downtown, downtown we'll call it. There's maybe the Willis Tower, or there's another building over there with points on it. I, I don't know which is which, guys. Let's be honest, I'm not a tour guide, but I'll show you a little bit around Chicago, show you what I get to see. Here we have some holy name cathedral. This is a, 
is a giant, giant, giant church. So, or cathedral, however you want to classify it. That's really cool. Very pretty. It's also like basically uh, right downtown. I'm sure that's been here for a few years to say the least. Here we are on Michigan Ave. We got like the big Nordstroms, we got Boss, we have Chanel, we have Rolex, we have the uh, Intercontinental. This is a very, 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 we'll say uh, ritzy, expensive area. They got all the, you know, again, the designer brand name shops. This is about as, you know, downtown as you can get. There's a uh, Ashton Martin. Uh, you know, definitely, like I said, this is, uh, this is the playground if you got some money and you want to play. They had the back there, back that way was what undoubtedly the world's biggest Starbucks. Uh, it was a um, like four level uh, reserve roastery, Starbucks reserve roastery. Here we got Michael Jordan Steakhouse. We got, uh, we got a little bit of everything. 